Buenos dias, señoritas y señoritos. I wish everyone a uh, spiritually enriching Good Friday. Today po, the focal point of the celebration or commemoration of Catholics all over the world is of course the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. That's why po, uh, today, I'm going to reshare, repost an old blog that I did uh, regarding my trip to the Via Dolorosa or uh, the, the Way of the Cross or the Station of the Cross in the old town of uh, Jerusalem. During my pilgrimage there with my family along with my mother in uh, 2012. So in this blog po, I will also be giving you a background of the crucifixion. It is not it is not something that uh, the crucifixion is uh, uh, sa is worse than what we see on uh, on uh, on the movies because po, uh, uh, for uh, for uh, the need to keep the the movies uh, decent hindi po in expose yung mga private parts but uh, historical uh, historical uh, research from that time shows na uh, many of those were crucified could even be naked. Kung, kung baga po, the Romans were really at their worst in elevating the art of crucifixion to an art form. It is really a, a uh, they will, they, you will be really, if you're crucified and you're an enemy of Rome, you will be you will be embarrassed, you will be stripped of your humanity. Tatanggalin ka ng pagkatao mo. So, they will do, it is the worst kind of uh, torment para ipakita na you cannot go against Rome or against the Roman authorities without paying the ultimate price. Not only death, but humiliation and uh, nailing to the cross and beating before uh, uh, endless beatings, endless uh, torturing before your crucifixion. So yan po lahat i-discuss natin to show how our, our Lord Jesus Christ really suffered. So without much ado, uh, I will now uh, bring you po yung old blog natin which I hope will uh, help you uh, uh, reflect on the crucifixion death and even the harrowing, the, the pain and uh, agony of Jesus Christ when, she, when He carried the cross uh, across the Via Dolorosa. And uh, may we love our, our Lord even more and uh, because of this. And also, po, uh, I hope you will be educated on, on what really happened during that time that we don't see in movies on te or on television. So, if you like this blog, please say, uh, share it to friends and relatives, who who to put them in a in a reflective and religious uh, mode this holy week. So again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, eto na po yung blog natin about the crucifixion and my uh, reflection while walking the Via Dolorosa in the old town of. Jerusalem in 2012. Hello. In Good Friday, the Christian world observes the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very special and sacred day for all Catholics. This is a key period in the Holy Week. That's why today, I'm going to take you to a virtual tour of the Stations of the Cross at the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem. But before we proceed, please subscribe. To, the, to my channel, the Blackcaster Armandine YouTube channel, because in this channel, I will give 
religious, historic, and cultural perspective of biblical stories and sites that I have visited. And today is it's very is a very special day because I will tell you my observation, my readings, and also facts told to me by our tour guide who happened to be a Palestine. So, at the Via Dolorosa, which in Latin means way of the grief, in the center of the old city of Jerusalem, what struck me when my eyes first laid upon the cobblestone road, the historic and sacred road, was the fact that these stones were full of grooves, the, uh, they were plugged stone, and they're not, they're not uh, as an, in the Roman times, they're not paved like, uh, like uh, our roads now, like our cemented roads. And uh, what struck me was, was the fact that we, all of us, centers his sacrifice. We always view it from the weight of the of the of the cross and also the scourging of the pillar and the thorn pla place on his head. But seeing the road, I I realize how how it could have added to his burden how it could have made the, the cross heavier and he was uh, his eyes were full with blood and and his face full of lashes as well as he, the whole of his body and he was he was dragging a cross in an even surface between cobblestone and i shuddered at you know how how every 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 time those those the the, the the cross falls on on the on the on the groups cut in those stones, which uh, were placed there so that uh, the horses will not slip in, into the slippery. So the 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 Romans uh, purposely made it groove. So how 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 it must have pounded and jarred the cobbled streets of Jerusalem. That is uh, at present uh, now uh, owned partly by Israel and uh, the Palestine government. So I stabbed my foot into those stones, and uh, fr from from the first station, they, they were they were the same from the first station where Pontius Pilate condemned him to death. So. Now we'll we'll proceed to the uh, to the Via Dolorosa. So our uh, our uh, way of the cross started at uh, the Madrasa Al Umaria School. You know you you will be surprised to see uh, Hebrew and uh, and uh, Muslim signages along with uh, our our alphabet signages all around because uh, after all for hundreds of years this Israel has been occupied uh, by the Muslims by the Christians by the Crusaders and the Ottoman Empire rulers so th this is really a, a mixture of all these three great religions and races so the the Madrasa Al Umaria School is located 300 meters west of the Lion's Gate in the Old Jerusalem, and we discussed earlier about the Lion's Gate. And we were uh, to go all the way at the 14th station at the Golgotha Hill, the site of the crucifixion, which is located at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So, going in the company of bishop of a bishop, we were lucky, and a priest. I felt part of Christ's suffering and I imagined the cross well, weighing heavily on his shoulder. 
and uh, and his back whose flesh were torn apart torn open by lashes inflicted by the Roman soldiers the night before how our Lord's blood could have drip and flowed along the edges of the cross and into that same cobblestone where only days before he could have walked and along with the people praising him you, uh, as you recall the, his triumphant entry in, during the Palm Sunday and uh, I imagine how agonizing the felt the pain could have become unbearable because the insults of people taunting him and challenge him to save himself and to think these were the same people who were praising him for his head healing of some of, of uh, their relatives and friends so uh, they have been today these days uh, nine of the 14 stations uh, are located in different uh, locations across the old city but uh, in five of them are inside the whole of these uh, of the church of the holy sepulcher and our pilgrimage started at uh, station one and uh, uh, at the muslim quarter and uh, well as in other religious places or or all over the world the whole street is lined up with snack bars tourist shops and uh, and uh, monasteries and churches and uh, souvenir shops are owned by Jewish and the Arab residents uh, mixed all together in this uh, old street and now we go to the focal point of the station of the cross and that is station 11 where Jesus Christ is nailed to the cross but before we proceed there, I would I would like to give you a uh, a, a uh, an insight of how putting or nailing a man to a cross was like during the Roman times. As per our Palestinian tour tour guide, history really is states that the, the nailing to the cross was not only the worst but also most humiliating kind of punishment the Romans ever give to criminals or those who try to instigate uprising or revolutions against the Ro Roman Empire. Actually, he said, the tunic or piece of cloth we now see covering the private parts of the Lord in, in our, in our uh, statues, in our uh, picture, in our paintings, and engravings, curvings, drawings, they, were, they are done for aesthetic purposes, but uh, not to offend our morals and sensitivity. But in reality, what could have happened was that they may, may actually have stripped him naked as they did to other, accu to other crimi suspected or accused criminals. In short, wh what we see now in, in the uh, paintings, old and new paintings, is the censored. Uh, version of the crucifixion because uh, it, in the traditional way of crucifying the Romans really stripped them not only of their clothes but the intention really is not only to punish them physically but to strip them to remove them of all honor and respect as a person or as a human being they were they, they really want them to feel they are less than human when when they are when they are uh, 
nailing them to the cross or punishing them with such kind of death. And the Romans uh, are said to have uh, perfected the art of torture and execution. And the masterpiece of this all is death by crucifixion because of the horror, physical, and psychological torture it can, brings to, it can bring to anybody. This form of to torture is so extreme that th there is even a law disallowing Roman citizens from being subjected to this kind of tor torture. So imagine they only use this to, to non-Romans because it is so painful and so embarrassing and so shameful. So you can, you can really see how, how Jesus Christ suffered all this for all of us. So now we will go to to the to the state to the station. So uh, apart apart from the station eleven, we you, we, you know we, which really gave me a a very uh, 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 deep form of uh, meditation is on the on the on the on the pain of Jesus Christ, the humiliation was uh, also the spiritual experience I uh, had on station 12 where as Jesus dies from the cross so dies on the cross so in this room uh, you will see a Greek Orthodox altar with a disc with a central hole a, a, uh, a, a hole and under the, the altar marks the spot where the cross is stood on the rock of Golgotha or Calvary, so the, 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 this is a, this uh, then this altar is placed above the 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 stone where the cross was erected, and there is a hole that you can you can put your hand into, and when, when I placed my hand there, it was it was cold and it really felt uh, you really felt the blessing of God doing so especially when it touch the the stone and uh, pil pil pilgrims like us also uh, apart from reaching into the stone we also we also kiss the the star where, where that that uh, covered the stone so other apart other after that we proceeded uh, this is all uh, right within the the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which proceeded at the 13th station as uh, Jesus was taken down from the cross. But this is more accessible because the, there is an altar that marks the spot where Mary, Mother Mary received the body of her son after he was taken down from the cross. And from there, he was laid down on the stone of unction or anointed stone me with mixture mixture of mire, aloe, and aromatic oils. So, uh, this is a, a stone slab, and and uh, uh, they were able to unearth this uh, years ago, and and uh, pilgrims can uh, can can kneel, pray, and kiss the stone and rub their hands into it, and we on our part. We brought uh, handkerchiefs as uh, instructed by our tour guide and uh, we rubbed those handkerchiefs into, into that stone and we still keep those handkerchiefs uh, uh, to, to remind us of those times and we feel uh, that handkerchief is fully blessed. And uh, now we proceed to the 14th station when, where Jesus is placed. On the thumb, the, uh, we now proceed to the spot, which is one of the holiest places in Christendom. The, the tomb of Jesus is in the center of the basilica, beneath the main rotunda, and we you have to line up to to go to it because there are uh, many pilgrims uh, uh, making the rounds of the rotunda too. 
It, do, it is uh, within an ornate edicule which resembles a mycelium. Before we reach the tomb inside a small inner room, you will see a piece of stone that was used to seal the cave where Jesus was, was laid to rest. And uh, the sacred cave hewn in stone where Jesus was buried is covered with a flat marble stub. That slab was put in place in 1555 or five centuries ago. And uh, uh, only five tourists at the time are allowed to pray before the tomb over which pilgrims like us rub our rosaries and crucifixes on that stone. So, uh, all of this, it is uh, beyond word. It is, uh, I have no word to describe the feeling of uh, making the Via Dolorosa. And even now, I, I still uh, have those beautiful feelings. And maybe this is a good time to reflect on, uh, the good fr on this Good Friday. Uh, to reflect on the suffering of Jesus Christ and the physical, emotional, and even, and even dehumanizing suffering he underwent for all of us. This is, this is crucial in these modern times when COVID is affecting all of us, turning our lives asunder, driving fears into us. So let us offer all our fears and burdens and sufferings to Jesus Christ because He too chose to, became, to become human, chose to suffer with us, to know exactly how much we are suffering. He knows how much we are suffering because as I told you in the, in the, uh, in the crucifixion, it is one of the worst kind of suffering ever inflicted on a human being. So, God knows. And maybe in time, we, we too are, go, are going through our, our, our Via Dolorosa. COVID Via Dolorosa. But, and God knows this. God is suffering with us for, for this. He knows what, how we are suffering as human beings because... He chose to become like us and in time, in time, in God's time, He will lift us from all of this suffering. So, I end my reflection here and I hope uh, uh, through this uh, humble video you, you're, you're, you, have, you have had some insight uh, beyond and, uh, and around biblical stories and uh, Please subscribe to the Black Caster Armandine YouTube channel and uh, please refer it to friends. Please share it to friends if you feel enlightened or you learned something from it. And uh, see you in my next video and uh, have a good and reflective and blessed uh, Good Friday, everyone. Thank you.